Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to new Minecraft Tech Client test video. And today we'll check out the new Hasuni update which works with Minecraft 1.7.10. And as always you can find the download link from the official developers down below in the description so feel free to check that out. And if you don't know how to install a hack client then please check out the installation tutorial which you can also find down below in the description. Ok guys, so now enough of talking, let's start the game and let's check out the Hasuni hack client, so there we go. Ok, so we're now in the game and this is currently the latest version of Hasuni, so it has a really cool looking main menu, a lot of new buttons and features, and first of all, here you can see that Optifine is included, so you can get the most frames per second out of your computer. Then let's go back to the main menu. And here at the left top corner, we have single player and multiplayer, just like in the normal Minecraft client, but we also have a changelog. And here you should see what has changed in the latest updates, but currently the server is down. So let's go back. We have here an account manager and here you can add alt accounts. So just go here to add and then you can fill in here username and password. And if it's a premium account, then just fill in here username and password, just like the things you use to log in on minecraft.net. And if you want to add a cracked account, that means for a server which doesn't check if you're premium, just fill in here the username and do not enter anything for the password, go to add and then you have a cracked account. You can be sure that the login information here is pretty safe and it won't be stolen or something. So don't worry about that. And here in the old list you should see your old accounts and you can also import old accounts from a text file if you have a lot of them. Then let us check out VIP and donate. If you open it up, it opens up the browser where you can donate to Hasuni. And if you donate at least $5, you will get an in-game cape. And if you donate $10, you will get premium features in Hasuni like Dolan Speak and some VIP features, which you will see later. Okay, then now let us check out the Hasuni settings, which we can find here in the right top corner. And here we have a lot of cool settings like custom font, which makes the font of the chat and of the menu look a lot better. We have different themes here, also for the array list. And you will see that in-game how it looks like. We have here reset windows if you fuck up the windows in the GUI. We have here Hasuni which you can switch on or off and we have a macro manager. And here you can add a macro command or a chat message and here you can choose a key you want to assign it to. So for instance you can spam S with the D key on the keyboard. So that's really cool and I think that's a really nice feature and should be in every hack client. Okay, then here we have a window builder which is currently unfinished. We have anti-aliasing, we have line size and I think that's for the tracer but we will take a look at that later. Here we have the keybind manager and yeah it's a little bit buggy so as you can see I'm just I'm selecting the wrong things. But at least it is working, you just have to select the hack you want to edit and then just press a new key on the keyboard to assign a new key to the hack. And last but not least we got font options and here you can set a different font for custom fonts, you can also edit the size and switch on anti-aliasing. So pretty cool features here in the Hasuni options. That's everything and now let's join a multiplayer server and let's check out the Hasuni features. The server is called FreeOP and you can find the server IP down below in the description. Ok guys, we're now here online on a multiplayer server and yeah, it's FreeOP, you can find the server IP down below in the description. There are a lot of people online and now let's test out the Hasuni hack client. So before we take a look at the GUI, I want to show you the commands of the hack client. And to get a list of all the commands, you have to open up the chat and type .help. And this should give you a list of commands which you can enter. And there are a lot of pages, so 7 pages full of commands. And to get to the next page, you have to enter um, .help and the page number or just click at .help. And then you can see all the commands which you can enter here directly into the chat. And there are a lot of cool things like enchant or mass message. So I would really get used to that before you take a look at the GUI. And the GUI can be opened up with the right shift key on the keyboard and by default you will see the hack hub, which is this one here. And in Hasuni you will also find a lot of different themes, so you can switch here through the themes, but I think the Hasuni theme, so the default theme, looks the best. Okay, then let's take a look at the hack hub. You will find a lot of hack categories here in the hack hub and you can scroll down here to see even more. And to activate them you just have to click at them and then they should turn blue and that means there should appear another box which shows you a lot of hacks. Okay, so let's take a look at all the boxes here. And you can drag and drop all those boxes here around the screen, so you just have to click at it, hold it and then you can drag it around. And let's go quickly here through the hacks. So let's start here with the combat hacks which we can find here at the left side. 
And to activate any of those hacks you just have to click at it and then it turns blue or whatever color you have set it to and that means that it is activated and you should also see it in the array list if you go out of the GUI by pressing the escape key which is here at the left top corner which shows you information and which hacks are activated. Then let's take a look at the combat hacks which you will also see in the PvP gameplay. So we have Kill Aura and for instance Kill Aura has another button here and if you click at that you will get a sub menu and here you can adjust a lot of more things like the Kill Aura speed, reach and also the kill radius. And here you also have to set up the targets you want to use Kill Aura on, for instance players, mobs or animals. If you don't do that Kill Aura will just not attack other players. And here you can also find a trigger bot and auto block. So really nice kill aura features and don't forget to activate them. Okay, then let's close the kill aura features and here we also got auto disconnect, projectiles, auto armor and auto soup. We also get a click aimbot with a lot of things like click reach and yaw rate. We have regen and criticals and all that is included in the combat hacks. You will later also see the PvP gameplay. Then here we have chat settings and most of them are VIP features. So for instance, um, okay, Regan is not a VIP feature in this one, but Anti-Sensor and Dolan Speak are VIP features. So in order to use that, you have to buy VIP and VIP costs about $10. And you have to decide, do you want to spend $10 on those features or not? And we have also AutoSap, which is not a VIP feature. So you can also use that with the basic version. Okay, so that's it. Then the hack hub is that one. And let's take a look at player related hacks. And player hacks contains different modes like auto tool with normal and switch. We have auto respawn, we have speed mine with adjustable speed mine speed, auto fish, we have retard with normal, faceless and twerk. We have free camps, you can go out of your body and explore the area, fast place and an inventory helper. Not sure right now what that is, but uh, maybe we'll find it out later. Okay, so as you can see, free cam works perfectly, so you can go out of your body and explore the area here in rendering distance. Okay, then let's go back. So you have to deactivate free cam to go back to your body. Okay, and now let's have a look at the world hacks, which contains X-ray. And in order to use X-ray correctly, you have to set up the opacity to something between 0 and 100. And you also have to set the blocks you want to see as solid blocks here in the X-ray manager. So for instance, if I go into X-ray mode by pressing the X button on the keyboard, then I will just see the blocks as solid blocks, which are ticked here in the X-ray manager. And if I now remove the grass blocks and set the opacity to something between 0 and 100, then I should be able to see here through the grass blocks. And as you can see, it works. So you just have to set the blocks you want to see as solid blocks in the X-ray manager, and then you can use X-ray and that actually works really well. Okay, so if I deactivate now dirt blocks too, then I can see here through almost all the blocks and you have to play around with the opacity and set the blocks you want to see under the blocks. So X-Ray could be better, but yeah, at least it is working. Then let's go back here to the GUI. So that was the X-Ray manager. You have to set it up just once and it will save the settings. We also have your auto sign. We have a nuker with um, different modes, nuker radius and nuker speed. You can choose here between real and instant nuker. Then we also got auto farm and you can choose what items you want to harvest and if you want to replant them. Then let's go back. We got a chest sealer, which is really nice. That takes everything out of the chest, but you have to be VIP in order to use that. We got vehicle one hit, we got auto build, and that's really nice because here you can choose something which you want to auto build. So you can choose here the blocks you want to build in real, and that's really nice. So if you got enough blocks and you choose the auto build button, then it will automatically build that. And we got middle click friends to add friends to your friend list. Yeah, then here we got colors and that's an RGB color changer. And with that little thing, you can adjust the colors here of the GUI. So you can set it to every color you want to. You just have to find the correct values for that. And as you can see, you can mix every color. And if you fuck it up, just hit the reset button and then you get the default colors. Yeah, okay, that was colors. And we also did the world related hacks. And last but not least, I think we got the rendering hacks. So here we have brightness and here you can choose between night vision and gamma mode. We also have a chest ESP, we have tracers and you can also set the width of the tracers in the Hasuni options. And here you can choose on which things you want to use the tracer. So players, mobs, animals or even items. We also have your breadcrumbs which draws a line behind you. We have name tags and here you can choose the name tag scale. We also can choose here show armor and scale. And we have wireframe which draws the whole world in a wireframe model but you have to deactivate x-ray for that. 
And yeah, it's pretty good on this hack client because on other hack clients it was laggy, but here it works actually really good. Then yeah, um, the name tags are a little bit too big, so I have to rescale them. So let me go back here to the GUI. So yeah, let's make them a little bit smaller. And now they look pretty good. You can also see what armor and what weapon the other people have. And yeah, last but not least, we got status HUD and you can also adjust the HUD scale. Oh, I forgot movement hacks. So here we got no fall, we got sprint, we got flight, which is on right now. And the maximum fly speed is five, so it's not that fast. Then we got dolphin, we also got glide, we got sneak, and sneak has also two modes. We have real and fast mode. Then we got spider, um, fast ladder, we got step, and step is also adjustable, so you can adjust the step height. And last but not least, we got no slowdown. And all the movement hacks work pretty well and don't require VIP. Okay, so basically that's it. That was the whole GUI and I think that were all the hacks. We also got the Hasuni settings once again if you press the escape button, but you can hide them if you press the right shift key here in the game menu. So if you want to do that, for instance, if you're recording something. Now guys, that's it. That was the Hasuni hack client. I hope you enjoyed it and you will now see the PvP gameplay. So just sit down, enjoy and thanks for watching guys. Second skin The kids are all dying